On the road to reopening schools, we could learn more today on the city's plan for some public school classes to be held outside. Today, Mayor de Blasio and the school's chancellor will talk more about plans for the fall following some criticism from education unions. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from PS 130 in Chinatown with more this morning. John, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Chris. And as we all know, Chinatown gets crowded and it gets crowded fast. Often there's not even enough space here on the sidewalk to walk around it comfortably. And pretty soon those schools in areas like this are going to have to figure out a way to squeeze in some outdoor social distance classrooms. Let me tell you, time is ticking when it comes to coming up with a plan. School starts in a little more than two weeks. It's a green light school principals and teachers have been waiting for for months. The approval of outdoor learning. We empower our principals to determine the maximum amount they can do outdoors. Open air schools worked in the early 1900s during the tuberculosis pandemic. These historic photos of PS 51 in Midtown Manhattan show wide open windows, keeping fresh air flowing during cold weather months. Children bundled up in classrooms and in the lunch line. PS 51 today has no outdoor options. The new plan will allow all schools, public, charter, private, or religious, to use any outdoor space like fields or playgrounds on their school property and or coordinate with city agencies to use city parks or potentially shut down streets for outdoor learning. What's really important about this announcement is that we, our sister agencies in the Department of Education, are taking on the bureaucracy to streamline the approval process. Many parents are relieved there's another option for their kids. I think as much outside instruction as possible would be the best thing possible. If they can manage the space, they can manage the lugging the gear back and forth, tab tables, desks, chairs, equipment, um, supplies, and if it's manageable, um, I think it can only help. It can only reassure parents and it can only help safety. Principals and teachers say with a little more than two weeks before school starting, they don't have enough time to plan. The teachers union says the mayor's reopening plan continues to fall short. The principals union that had long been advocating for outdoor learning says the plan comes too late and with concerns about disparity and security, adding though the idea of outdoor learning has real merit, the city's plan will not be implemented nearly as well as it could have been if the mayor had simply given principals the time and support they need. Families are hoping the schools can make it happen. I feel like that's better also because we can get some fresh air and not just being stuck inside the classroom. I feel better outside than inside for sure because that's where, you know, the scientifically I think they were saying the virus is mostly spread like from indoors as opposed to outdoors. Now, when it comes to planning, this city will be putting schools with little to no outdoor options first, like schools here at PS 130 and also schools in areas hit hard by COVID-19. Meanwhile, the principals, they have until this Friday to turn in their outdoor learning plans, which is clearly in just a few days. We're live this morning from Chinatown. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Yeah, let's hope they've been thinking about this for a while. John, thank you.